It's Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Hannah Hall. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your KWHS News. Glads, are you rocking your socks today? We are, because it's National Down Syndrome Day. Before we jump into Counseling Center and College Visit News, we want to remind everyone who rocked your socks today to get your photos taken at lunch at the student cabinet table. Remember, our life skills students will be selecting their top three favorite crazy socks photos and will award prizes to them. Winners will be announced at the end of the day today, so rock your socks. And now to the Counseling Center news. Many colleges are on spring break this week, so we don't have very many colleges visiting us. However, for those of you who registered to take classes at Pikes Peak in the fall, they will be back on April 11th to help you select classes. You do need an appointment, so stop by the Counseling Center to schedule one for this visit. On April 12th, college visits will start up again with the reps from Black Hill State University in South Dakota. Then, on Tuesday, April 24th, the U.S. Air Force Academy admissions team will be here at 6 30 p.m. in the auditorium with a full-blown presentation on life at the academy as a cadet and how to navigate the admissions process. If you are even slightly interested or curious about attending the academy, you should attend the presentation. Parents are invited as well. Recent graduates will also be available afterwards to answer any questions you may have. Seniors, if you did not pick up your Herf Jones orders yesterday and it was paid for, please check with Miss Abeda in the counseling center. If you still owe money, you will have to wait until you pay that bill and Herf Jones returns before you can pick up your announcements or you can call them at this number to make your arrangements to pick up your order. And finally for seniors, bring in all college acceptance letters, scholarships, grants, and award letters you have received, even if you are not planning on accepting. The Counseling Center would like to ensure seniors receive the proper recognition at Senior Awards Night in May. Please see Ms. Abeda in the Counseling Center for more information. And now, let's check in with Ms. Betsy for today's lunch menu. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today we're having chicken pot pie, and tomorrow we're having a meatball sub. Come on down and see us. Hey, I need you to pay Pay your lunch charges. We're getting close now. It's a, almost April. Please pay your lunch charges. Thanks and have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. And now, here's this week's Senior Spotlight. My name is Autumn Burke. My favorite teacher at the school has been Mr. Colgrove because he just really cared about his students and worked really hard with us. My favorite memory has been being in marching band with all the people and just the environment. I'm going to college at Northern Arizona v University. I chose this school because it just fits my overall lifestyle and has a really good nursing program. I'm planning on studying nursing. My plans after college are to get a job in nursing. My advice to future seniors would be to live your life while you're in high school and not let it go by too fast. Stay tuned after spring break when we meet another senior star. Students and staff, if you will be cleaning out the garage over spring break and you need a place to dispose of all the hazardous waste, bring it to the Widefield Parks and Rec building on March 31st, where the Widefield Parks and Rec will host their Household Hazardous Waste Disposal Day from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. They will take automotive, household, lawn and garden chemicals, batteries, smoke alarms, electronics like old TVs, computer monitors, VCRs and radios, mattresses, tires, paint, and paint-related products. They will not have trash dumpsters this year, and no business waste will be accepted. Start your spring with a clean space. We will be back after the Gladiator Sports Update with concert information and other events happening this week. But first, here's Ethan Simon with some sports news. Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Ethan Simon with your Gladiator Sports Update. Juniors and seniors, permission slips to participate in the Powderpuff Games are due this Friday. See Ms. Melton in room 103 to sign up and pick up permission slip. Ladies, if you are interested in playing volleyball next year, get ready for open gyms after spring break, starting on April 4th from 3.15 to 4.15 and every Wednesday after that. Come bump, set, and spike up your skills. The baseball team would like to thank everyone who supported their fundraiser on Monday at Chick-fil-A. You can come watch the boys take on the Palmer Terriers this afternoon at 4 p.m. on Big Blue. Swing away, boys. Swing away. In track news, we have some updates on specific results from Saturday's meet. Led by Jaquarius Grant with a first in the 400, Cole Munoz with a first in the 1600 meters, and Ryan Outler with 
a first in the A100. The boys came in second with 84 points. And hot off the basketball court, the ladies were led by Shinesty Johnson, who placed first in the 100 meters, and Aaliyah Ricketts, who took first in both long and triple jumps. The ladies captured sixth place. The varsity track team kicks off their spring break at the Terror Invitational this Friday and Saturday at Gary Berry Stadium. It might be a little bit chilly, but we know our athletes will heat up the track again. Our Lady Glad soccer team traveled up north yesterday to Frederick to take on the Warriors. It was a quiet bus ride home as the ladies suffered another loss. The ladies are home tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m. to take on the Coronado Cougars. We'll have scores for you on Friday morning. After dropping two games last weekend, the Ultimate Frisbee team hopes to start their spring break with a win when they meet the university school at 10 a.m. on Saturday at the El Pomar Sports Complex. In tennis news, our ladies had a match yesterday against the Lions from the Colorado Springs Christian High School. Our ladies are building their team and skills and added a win to their record. The ladies are back on the courts after spring break on the 5th of April. In swimming news, our men's swim and dive team put in some hard work at their meet on Monday against the Pine Creek Eagles. Out of 38 swim, the team clocked 11 personal records and 20 first swim times were recorded for swimmers. It's a rebuilding year for the team, but we're excited to hear of their continued growth. The boys will be back in the water on April 12th at home against Pueblo Centennial. And finally, stay tuned on Friday for Doc's health tip of the week when she'll talk to us about getting some sleep over spring spring break. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to our athletes this week. I'm Ethan Simon. Now back to you, Hannah and Karen. Thanks, Ethan. Link crew applications are still available for Miss Murphy, Miss Veroni, or Miss Walker, but you'd better get them done quickly because the deadline to turn them in is tomorrow at 3 p.m. Juniors and seniors, the masquerade prom is a short month away on Saturday, April 21st from 6.30 p.m. to midnight at the Doubletree World Arena. If you get your tickets today, you will only pay $45 per person. Starting tomorrow and going until April 17th, ticket prices will go up to be $50 per person. Because they must have a head count for dinner, you cannot buy tickets at the door. Get your tickets at the business office. Please make a note of these simple rules for wearing masks at prom. All masks must be pre-approved, so please check in with Ms. Molino in room 166 or Ms. Fowler in room 144 during lunch and after school through Friday before prom. You can wear your masks in the ballroom area, but when you're in the general hotel area, including at check-in, chaperones must be able to see your beautiful faces. Oh, and remember, masks must be removable and full face masks are not allowed. One last note about prom. Outside guest forms are now available in the main office. The deadline to return them to ensure your date can attend the prom is April 13th. There will be a spring choir concert tomorrow night at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Admission is free, so come out and support and celebrate our talented singers at WHS. And finally, here's a shout out to some of our amazing teachers. My name is AJ Gavin and I have many reverse card tickets for all my teachers. My first one's for Miss Everyone for being funny, giving us all the need for good education, uh, for Miss Doolittle for making sure that we stay on task and get our work done, Miss Womack for just always being in a good mood, Mrs. Mark Harrison for making sure we don't get hurt during we, during weight training, weightlifting, Miss Watson for just never trying to stay calm and do her work job because she's supposed to, Miss Goforth for making sure that we do what we're supposed to and not get in trouble and get our work done, and Miss Dykus for making sure that we get our work done if we have nothing else left to do during the warm-up. Remember to fill out your reverse power tickets and drop them in the box outside of the attendance office. We do the rest. Glads, if you need some entertainment to kick off your spring break, the WSD3 Talent Show will be on Friday night at 7 p.m. Cost is only $5 for adults and $3 for students. Come celebrate our talented WSD3 students and friends. That's all for our news today. I'm Hannah Hall. Only three more days of school before spring break. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your KWHS News. Have a great Wednesday.